In the original Spider-Verse, we got to see a Miles Morales that was new to being Spider-Man, but in Across the Spider-Verse, Miles has been Brooklyn's only Spider-Man for a year and four months, meaning over that time, he's built up quite a bit of experience. So here's what he's been up to between both films. First off, Miles has a pretty noticeable growth spurt, leading to him having to make himself a new suit. We see in a montage that over the last few months, Miles has fought villains like Tombstone, Leapfrog, and even his own version of Kraven. In some of his downtime, he managed to help Aunt May move out of the Parker home into a new one, and Miles' popularity skyrocketed enough that he was asked to host Jeopardy, and even gets cancelled for doing advertising for baby powder, which he has to apologize for, just like his mustache that he grows for a while, which can be seen through the suit that everybody makes fun of. But the number one thing Miles did was miss Gwen. 